An efficient irrigation system is designed to deliver the appropriate volume of water evenly to meet all plant needs in the time available. The irrigation system should apply water evenly across the cropping area, apply the correct volume of water often enough to meet plant demands, and apply the required water in the time available. Having a well set up irrigation system has helped save with many aspects of our business, which in turn improves their bottom line. Upgrading an existing sprinkler layout or installing a new one to best management practice is one way of improving the water use efficiency of an irrigation system, which in turn improves crop growth and profitability. Fixed overhead irrigation systems are the most commonly found irrigation systems in nurseries. These systems can be installed with the sprinklers either in an upright or inverted position. Historically, growers have installed irrigation layouts according to their experience or with guidance from irrigation professionals. But there has been a level of grower dissatisfaction with the efficiency of many of these layouts. The following video explains the principles behind an efficient sprinkler layout. Containerised plants can only obtain water from the irrigation and don't have the ability to access water from outside the root ball. Any water the plant receives must fall directly onto the container, requiring nursery irrigation systems that have a higher level of performance compared to those required for plants growing in the ground. Sprinklers with triangular distribution patterns are ideally suited to nursery sprinkler irrigation. To achieve a high level of uniformity, these sprinklers must be installed in an appropriately designed irrigation layout where all containers within the growing area receive water from four sprinklers. A layout commonly used in nurseries has sprinklers located away from the edge of the growing area. This layout results in large variations in water applied over the entire growing area. In this aerial view of a conventional irrigation layout, all plants in the central area receive similar amounts of water, while the areas around the perimeter of the growing area will receive uneven irrigation from only one or two sprinklers. In this aerial view of a best management practice irrigation layout, sprinklers are located on the border of the growing area. All plants in the central area receive similar amounts of water, while the areas outside the border of the growing area will receive uneven irrigation from one or two sprinklers. In a conventional layout, growers schedule the irrigation to water according to the amount required for the driest plant, overwatering the rest of the crop. These areas where plants only receive water from one sprinkler require the irrigation to be operated four times as long as the area where the containers are receiving water from four sprinklers. In a best management practice layout, growers still schedule the irrigation of water according to the amount required for the driest plant. However, all plants receive a similar amount of water as all of the plants are irrigated by four sprinklers. In a BMP layout, all the growing area receives the same amount of water. The irrigation system doesn't need to operate for extra time to water the drier areas even though water is being applied outside the area. The system is run for less time than a conventional non-BMP layout, applying less water over the whole area. Another common option, particularly for igloos, is to have a single central line of sprinklers down the middle of the growing area. With this layout, the distribution pattern of the sprinklers leads to dry edges and corners because not all plants receive water from four sprinklers. One measure of irrigation efficiency is the scheduling coefficient, abbreviated to SC. This is the measure of how much water the driest container in an irrigation area receives compared to the average container in that area. In the BMP layout, every pot is receiving a similar amount of water so the SC is less than 1.5. Industry parameters specify efficient systems have an SC of 1.5 or less. Conventional layouts will have a higher SC than BMP layouts because of the larger variation between the average and driest plant, which leads to longer irrigation times to wet up the driest plant when compared with BMP layouts. It is common to have scheduling coefficients in poorly designed conventional layouts of up to four or greater. This requires the application of over four times the volume of water when compared to a BMP layout. The next important feature of a BMP sprinkler layout is the appropriate spacing on a square grid. This is one where the wetted diameter of each sprinkler reaches the adjacent sprinklers. In this example, the amount of water applied between the two sprinklers where there is insufficient overlap would be much less than that applied in close proximity to the sprinkler uprights, creating a dry area. 
by reducing the spacing of the sprinklers so the edge of the wetted radius of each sprinkler reaches the adjacent sprinkler, the uniformity over the entire area is enhanced, improving the SC of the system. Sprinklers should be spaced so that the edge of the wetted radius of each sprinkler reaches the adjacent upright. This enhances the uniformity over the entire area and improves the SC of the system. In this example, halving the scheduling coefficient and retaining the same MAR, the water savings on a 180 square metre area amount to 556,000 litres, or in dollar terms, $1,300 per annum, at the current town water prices, whilst also reducing irrigation run times. We're really happy with the quality of our stock and we're sure that this is partly due to the efficient irrigation system here that we have at Wallam Nurseries. This video has been supported by South East Queensland Irrigation Futures Rural Water Use Efficiency Initiative. Special thanks go to Wallam Nurseries, Blackall Range Nurseries and Redlands Research Station.